Hello and welcome back for what will be our level 2 uh, episode of, I've decided to call it a shift in time this time around. We have uh, below us the rugged and foreboding long landscape of the borderlands. What seems to be a, a regular rite of passage for my uh, new characters. Well, let's face it, there isn't exactly uh, a load of... Uh, content down at this level so you're going to see uh, repeats every now and again I'm sure um, spells I have doubled my spells we've picked up the spell version of produce flame as well the standard spell not uh, maximized obviously so we've got the SLA and the standard spell now at level 2 I took uh, bear form I could and should have gone into bear form and just swung a weapon and did uh, done some of what Byron has been doing but um, I'm going to stick with the uh, the support uh, casting role I'm going to heal them if needed I'm going to carry on doing the howl of terror see how we go on with that because we do have some packs of things in here and keep throwing these two produce flame in there I've upgraded the gear slightly, we've got some nice crafted goggles there with the Master's Gift on for some slightly more XP. True Seeing is very nice too, and Persuasion for a bonus to uh, UMD stuff. A uh, little bit more spell power from the goggles, S from the goggles, from the hat. Uh, Charisma, not particularly useful to us, but con will take. Runic Trinket, very nice entry-level caster item, comes from the Marketplace quests. Uh, there's one in particular, isn't it? Is it the one where you have to break into the bank? I think it might well be. A uh, little bit of feather falling there. Still got the rugged belt on for a bit more false life. Some uh, fortification and saves bonus there. Got our two caster sticks from the Borderlands. Glaciation because that's the next uh, SLA that's coming in the Druid tree. And the obvious one, the flame combustion one, because that's what we're using now. Tattered gloves, I've shown these ones before. They, they come, I think they come as a, a chain reward we've established when we discussed this before. But 12 um, crit chance for fire so early on. I mean, what, the, the, what should typically be uh, there is 6. We can see 6 on these items here. So that's uh, quite a powerful item for, uh, for its early availability. So as you can see here now we are sitting on uh, every one shot in four is a crit with the fire so not bad at all. What else do we have to report aside from that? I've added a little clickable for a bit more spell power again a chain reward I think this was that's somewhat overpowered for its level. Nine extra universal spell power for three minutes is pretty good so worth clicking on that if i can remember to do so same as with the uh, the shifter rages okay aside from that it's kind of as you were and as usual for me in here i'll be starting with the worst and most difficult one so if we can get through this one relatively unscathed I think it's it'll be a good omen for us so we've got the wolf here already get Byron going get the summoned wolf out extra mana and rage Let's take uh, the stone skin. We need every little bit of help we can get. Now, are you guys on offensive here? You should be. I want them to get stuck in and take the attention away from me. Oh my goodness, Reaper, straight away. Can we howl at it? E right, okay. First important thing then. The howl does work on the Reaper. Managed to get rid of that. Clearly doesn't do anything against the undead, but did work very nicely on the Reaper. 
so that's a big deal. And look at Byron. He's got uh, strike through on that thing as well, hasn't he? My God. Okay. Okay. Has somebody stopped back there? Where have they stopped? Howl. I don't think my howl worked on either of those. Maybe they... Maybe they both saved. On a very short cooldown, the uh, standard spell version of Produce Flame, so that's good. I should uh, be spamming that one out. What are they doing? They've stopped again, or is that just is that just my map that's not caught up? Something gone a bit weird there, hasn't there? They need to catch up now. Where's Byron? Oh, Byron's here now. Okay. And the caster can be howled. But because I didn't target him, I missed. Oh, Byron needs help. Did that work? Is he getting healed? Yes, he is. I'm going to need to cast that again on him. He's taking a hell of a pasting, isn't he? But he's stopping me taking said pasting. Yeah, well done, matey. Well done. Yes, he's not the easiest for me to heal, is he, because of his uh, Warforged nature, but a fair play. He did a hell of a job there. Now, these mob and slob I should be able to howl on. Yeah. That's my cosmetic uh, dagger. I think it's the epic dice from uh, one of the Archon chain, isn't it? It's got uh, an illusion glamour thing on it from... Uh, I think it was one of the chain rewards. Is it the Feywild chain reward? I didn't need the XP or favour or anything, so I just took this glamour illusion thing and threw it on Fool's Weapon. Yeah, there's no way his rage is going to last anywhere near for these quests. Oh, wow. Big crit. Getting some big numbers here. being a bit of a challenge to heal but our uh, what is it lesser vigor isn't exactly stellar is it we do have a half decent positive spell power what do we have we have uh, 110 and that's without any equipment boosting it still haven't found the uh, codex piece have we beginning to wonder if I haven't left it behind in all this chaos. Yeah, if we can get through this, this is definitely, well, aside from being higher level anyway, this is totally the worst one we're going to face because... Uh, with it all being undead, I can't hold any of it. Has 
he gone running off now? Yes, okay. Let's let him go. Any sign? Yes. Happy days. I think that was the highlight of one of my lives on this channel. Uh, we we got we once. I remembered I had the little throwing axe thing or dart as it was then, and managed to take him down with one of those as he was fleeing. I think after a little while the chest opens. There we go. Ring of magical attunement. Not particularly interesting, I don't think. Okay. Uh, the quest is not finished. Slay most of the cultists. Two left. It's a good job I noticed that. Quite surprised I did. Okay. Uh, we must have missed a room of them somewhere. What did I miss? There are two rooms back here with cultists. Have I just not been into one of them? I think that's it. Yeah, I just haven't visited one. Where's my support, people? Come on. Spell points are going very low here. I can't cast the uh, hold spell, two little spell points. I think we do have echoes of power though that will come and save us. Okay. Somewhat shambolic. Poor old Byron almost died, but we made it to the end. Go on, this, is, this one's for you, Klitsch. A collectible for all the crazy crafters out there. They're not that crazy. I have done a little bit of uh, crafting in my time. I'm not obsessed with it as some, but uh, I uh, do acknowledge its use on occasion. Right, so it's got to be all uh, all better from here. That was as, as bad as it could possibly be with everything undead. I guess that's one example of just how good the uh, Dragon Lord raw is, because that raw would have um, stopped all of those undeads, although probably not at level one. I think you'd probably need to be a bit higher than one to have it. Gods ahead, blocking the entrance to their camp. Just as you brace yourself for a fight, another knoll calls out to you in a shrill voice. Eula Bloodgreen, daughter of the Knoll Chieftain, has given you a charm of evil things. Right, uh, we've got Infiltrate we've got the wolf and is the wolf in here as well? Where is the wolf? You there. If you're yep. looking for a way okay. inside, I've got just the thing. But I might need something myself. The guards scramble to let you pass. Just you find the stones you find Rhea Brass. Let's get going in the dirt. It seems Rhea admires Culver Pebbleskin. Oro Sandcloak lets you in on a secret. Chief Bloodgleam has been lying to the Outlanders about sending their comrades to join the cult. If you can prove that Outlanders are being killed as sacrifices instead, it will destroy their loyalty to the Chief. It looks to me like you can actually pass through opponents when you do that, uh, what's it called, the Chaos Mansa Rush or whatever you want to call it, I'll call it the Wings, which is very nice when in a tight spot, like if you have a Doom Reaper in your face or something. Said Grave Maw always wore a ring like that before he went to serve the cult. 
This proof of Grave Maw's death will convince the Outlanders once and for all that they should abandon the cult. Boomfoot reveals that Zart Sutklub, the renowned Outlander fighter, can't stand the sight of blood. Time to let I think if we were to go a bit later on with the hirelings, which I totally am not going to, uh, we might get some little spells to boost them up a little bit. The Knoll nods in agreement. You've convinced and of course that raid in the marketplace, the Hound of Zoriat, where you... Uh, the objective is to charm the hounds. It's always a good idea to have a druid or better still somebody with summoner bonuses to uh, tame the hounds with those gemstone things to get them to be beefier and beat the uh, Zizi down quicker. <coughs> The Outlanders seem to reconsider, but may have something that will convince them. You will hold up now, if we get stuck into the middle of this lot and hit our... Yeah, quite a few of them got frozen there, I think. Byron, let's try and keep him up. Another group of gnolls rushes into the chamber. Went for the freeze again. I think we were successful. Yeah, very nice. Wow. Healing Byron again. Gonna hit the freeze again. Yes, look at that. Wow. Okay. Support caster for the win. And well done, Byron. My word. What have we got here? Anything? No, not really. There must be more to these two than it initially seemed. With Chief Bloodbloom and the other cultists out of the way. Do you know, I'm thinking I can uh, do something here. No, I can't, can I? Okay. I think it's in Epic, isn't it, where you can open the cage with... Uh, is it Spellcraft or something? And then have the chest. Yeah, he is every bit as uh, devastating as his appearance would lead you to believe. He's a proper glass cannon, isn't he? Our friend Byron. <laughs> Worth however many copper pieces we spent to hire him. to eliminate another threat to the residents of the keep. And at the moment, I don't know if it's centered on me, that thing. I uh, see again, I didn't have a target there, so it just did nothing. Did we freeze the Reaper? Yes, absolutely, we froze the Reaper. Beautiful. As the last I will dies, certainly remember that. Oh, helps if you take the key, doesn't it, you muppet. Busy gloating over the Reaper being frozen and... Come on, Byron. Come on, be healed. I think we can do another uh, shout here. Yes, beautiful. Did it work on this lot? Oh, Reaper. Did we get him? I think there was a bit of lag there. I don't know if that contributed to what happened there. Or didn't happen. 
Now this is going to be a real test for the uh, the hold that we have. Oh wow, look at that. Byron, where are you? Get stuck in here. He's miles behind. Oh wow! Just imagine any kind of AoE follow-up. If we had any, any AoE at all, that lot would be toast. Come on, Byron. You are our AoE. Come here and get stuck into this lot. Yeah, I, sh I should totally be playing a bear at this time. Oh, Byron's dead. I should totally be playing a bear and... Uh, and my wolf is nearly dead too. At least my wolf is a bit easier to heal. One of these days I might actually finish my sentence. I should totally be playing a bear and, and making use myself of the uh, hold potential of that howl. It's it's very good, isn't it? By the looks of it. Very good. I don't think we've passed a shrine anywhere, have we? So Byron, you're going to have to be... Uh, let's keep healing our wolf. I think we're going to have to attract the attention onto ourselves here. Where am I going? Oh no, it's the right way. Wolf is miles behind. This heavy iron -bound door. So it seems to be centred on me because I didn't have anything targeted there. It doesn't last for too long, does it? But it's enough for a, a party to be able to smash the things up if they... Uh, if they're... Okay. Wolf again. Oh, that cast on me. And again on... Oh, the wolf isn't number two, is it number... I think there's a different key to press to heal your pet. I don't know what the key is, sadly. The door swings open on well-oiled hinges, startling the hot on the far side. Yeah, that is impressive. What save is it on? It's on a 30. Nice. Because the thing was targeting us, our wolf got away with that there. Without taking damage, which is nice. Oh, I'm just noticing our uh, our own... I'd better stop howling, hadn't I? Our own spell points are taking a hammering. When it crits, that produced flame is doing some decent damage. Without the crit, it's quite lukewarm, isn't it? Seals off the passage. Perhaps the magical runes on the wall are the key to opening it. Onwards with our 19 spell points. There's nothing I can do about that, is there, I'm afraid. And we're just about to run out of rage as well. Uh, echoes of power. Now, the one good thing about using poxy little spells like we're using is the echoes of power will help you through. I think I'll stick to just using the big uh, SLA now and forego the uh, the other one, which is more costly and less damaging. It's just on the shorter cooldown. Running on fumes, people. And this is another reason why we should have taken the bear form. 
I could still do it, but I don't have a suitable weapon in hand, so I don't think it would have much, if any, impact. Where's my wolf? Come on. <gasps> mana, mana. It's not much, but it's something. Come on, Wolf, get in the game. Still got the boss to go. There is a shrine in here somewhere, but I think I have to beat some opponents to get to it. So I'm not going to uh, put myself. Oh my God, Reaper! That's going to be interesting. That's going to be very interesting. Let's have another crit like that, please. Please, no. That'll do. Oh, Colours of the Queen, just when we needed it. Thank you very much. Where is the wolf? Come here. Another Reaper, my God. Don't kill the wolf, that's all I ask. It might do, might it? Oh, it might do. It has. Oh, God. <laughs> now we're in trouble. There's somebody down there casting magic missiles, I think. Run, 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 run. If you want to stay stuck in that doorway, you guys be my guest. Was it the... Uh no, the wolf is dead. Is it dead? It looks alive to me. No, it's alive. What happened there? Has it raised itself? I've no idea, but you can have a little heal. How much does my little heal cost? Six spell points. Yeah, we can afford that. <coughs> yeah, I think we've made a total hash of this, so mustn't, uh, at least at the moment, throw around that howl of terror while we're low on spell points. I was just throwing it all over the place, wasn't I? We paid quite dearly for that. Uh, I was going to do the hood of unrest. Yes, nice. Okay. Spark ring, that could be interesting with the next uh, thing we've got in mind, although well, I'll take it anyway. The third SLA, as anybody who's done a cast a druid will know, is electric themed. And that's where things really get interesting. So yeah, we took a bit of a battering in that one, didn't we? We continue. Now I'm supposed to be going over there. Yes, I think if Byron goes down, most of our damage goes down with him, so that's a note to self. But if I don't use the um, howl, there's a much bigger chance of him going down. Uh, what can I... Do I just have to wait while for him to... I think I might just have to wait for him to leave of his own accord. Which one? Oh, this is the one with the trap, isn't it? Ugh. We're going to have some from back here as well, aren't we? Where's the wolf? Get back here. 
Don't die stupidly. This could be this could be truly horrible. Look at them all. Oh, for an AOE. This is where Byron would be so good. Still, it's a glowing uh, endorsement for the strength of the um, howl. It's quite a short duration, but uh, a wolf is needing help. Not one, I don't want either. Go on, finish it. So yeah, there must be a key to quickly target my wolf, but I don't know what it is. And by the time I figure out what it is, I think the wolf will already be relegated to a lever puller. I'd definitely like to have Byron with us for this, but unfortunately we can't have that. Uh, should we just zoom over there in case it collapses? Yes, nice. Get him, Wolfie. That's it. Yes. Okay, I think we need to be doing some howling in here, don't we? Wolf's dead. Oh, that means we're going to be dead soon if we don't. Uh, I think I, I tried to heal it. Maybe I missed it. Got to watch the mana as well. Now the wolf, I think I can raise with that, can't I? Revive. Okay, I don't know how it revived itself last time. I'd like to know. <clears throat> Cloak of Attraction. When I think that one of uh, the bear party got... Uh, What's it called? A wish for memories to avoid doing the shifter because she hated the look of them that much. So attractive, I guess we are not. Still giving thanks to the uh, person in the comments some time ago who told me about that uh, fairy fire for the box breaking. More than happy to have that. Now, are these going to be hostile? Yes, oh crikey. Okay. Better howl. Oh, we're afraid now. What goes around comes around, eh? Wolf's dead again. Oh, we're going to have to beat a fighting retreat here. Have to watch the manor as well. So they get feared if they hit us, and they can be feared by the howl as well. Yeah, those crits are quite tasty on the produce flame stop dying people I 
it's just as well for us i think that we are not easily hit by them that we have this abusively high armor class because otherwise yeah this strategy if you want to call it a strategy would see me in really hot water but i've started now and i'm stubborn so i'm not going back on it Okay, we have our wolf. Can we resummon Byron? Only one way to go. Forward. That's fine. Can our wolf summons as well? Now that's something I'd forgotten to do and should have done the the summoned wolf. I can actually do the good berries in a tavern. By the way, I don't know what this druid class twelve is about. A burly minotaur stands behind a magical barrier, guarding a pile of treasure. I think treasure. these stay in place anyway, at least for the first bit, so I won't waste a howl on them. Why aren't you attacking, Wolfie? He draws you adventurers like moths to the flame. <laughs> Have fun starving There's something buggy about those first three, isn't there? Byron stealing my kills. I don't mind that all right. You two had better stay there because you're gonna get roasted in that trap, aren't you? This crest matches one of the sockets on the Minotaur's barrier. There must be more somewhere in the cave. Oh god, no AoE. Will they just stay there if I go past them or not? God, we've got some more. Come and sort them out, people. How? Kill them all. Where's Byron? Oh, I told him to stay there, didn't I? Get here. Oh, I suck with hirelings. The wolf, was the wolf staying there? Yeah, the wolf was staying there as well. But luckily for me, he came and joined in. Okay, get stuck in, both of you. Howl. Luckily for me, all you have to do is tickle these and they die. So I can do ra rapid fire flame produce. Okay, boss. Yeah, it's nice. Go on, Byron. Now, Byron hasn't taken much uh, damage here, has he? So that's good. So we have a dismiss rage. And re rage. So at the low levels, at least, that uh, howl, although costly on in mana, is prolific with the crowd control. works on most things it seems apart from the undeads with all three crests neatly fitted into their sides that's one thing i've forgotten to add to the gear the uh, Reveler's Regalia. Maybe I should... Uh, we've got Night Revels on at the moment. Maybe I should take the liberty of getting one for... 
fools. I don't think he has one. I think the only one we have is being used by Purple at the moment because he's doing a Chaos Mancer life. So he can use it all the way to the cap because they only wear robes, don't they? Uh, boots of Feather Falling. I might take those, thank you. <clears throat> Hang on. Do you know I'm an idiot? There's feather falling on my cloak, isn't there? You muppet. Did a little bit better in that one in terms of keeping the rest of the party alive. Should really be using this lot as practice for a, a real party because I'm just dreadful at healing. My only defense is I, I focus sometimes on the incoming threats, so I'm not looking at the, the bars of the people around me. But God, it's just somebody can be standing next to me taking a hiding, and I just don't notice until it's too late. It would be nice to get better on that score. Right, which one is this? Bugbear? Uh, okay. You hear deep, guttural voices in the distance. Ow. Oh, got knocked down, but it did still work on a couple of them. Nice mana, yes, 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 yes. Totally unnecessary. I just wanted to see the fairy fire. The stout iron lock on this door looks as though it would be impossible to. How? The iron lock creaks as it opens. Let's go, people! Come on, Byron, brutalize. That's it. And again, yeah. The smell of meat cooking. Wafts tantalizingly down the corridor. I don't know if it's an AOE centered on me, the howl, but it has a pretty decent circle of effect, it seems. So, provided my spell points last, I can go into the room, do that, and Byron comes in and does the rest. Or if I had any kind of AOE, I could do the rest myself. Uh, where are we going down there? The image of a small silver key is embossed on the surprise. How? As the silver rock puts open, you hear the local voices of Bugbear's Yes, lovely. How? Beautiful, Byron, beautiful. Just top the, the wolf up. Pulled, you can hear the rumble of the sealed door sliding open. They're a bit behind, aren't they, my people? I think they're catching up. I think they got the boost there. <laughs> Reaper. Come on, get rid of him quickly. That's not quick enough. Howl again. Took a big crit there and the howl didn't work on the reaper. Okay, help uh, Byron a bit. Where is our wolf there? Can we help you a little bit too? Okay. As you open the door, a massive bugbear Big howl for the caster. Get rid of that. Nice. Dies, you notice a small ornate key on the table in the far corner of the room. Not terrible. Not terrible. The door to the treasury First thing anybody says sense. when we go in here is always why have they put uh, breakables in here when the quest is finished? I thought maybe you could um, you could possibly 
open the um, door but not go in and and get around it that way but I'm pretty sure you can't as soon as the door opens you get uh, quest completion Well, one thing I will say about this howl that I was initially somewhat sceptical about, it's certainly kept us alive at times when the Reapers were there, because these little pea shooter fire things, they're certainly not going to one-shot a Reaper, so we could have been in some really bad trouble. Okay, uh, what are we doing here? That. Now, Doc, I remember you said you always go the other way, don't you? Because I, I think the trip wire isn't, isn't uh, in evidence that way or something, you said. But I'm stuck on always going this way, I'm afraid, so we'll just have to live with it. I could stop the hirelings, couldn't I, and then teleport them to me afterwards, but uh, let's deal with it. We'll announce our presence, give them a chance. Ice Guardian, that's got to be for me. Yes, 116, that's a big one. Freeze. Yes, get stuck in, Byron. Beautiful. Let's go, let's go, let's go, people. On the subject of the howl, I remember one time uh, that there used to be a much stronger um, thing that paired with the howl in the Nature's Warrior tree, didn't there? The fifth core in there still does give something good to go with howl, but nothing like what it used to be, I think. Does anybody remember what, what there was there in the past? I know it was good enough to make people consider putting those 31 points in that tree, which Lord knows is not really uh, compatible with the caster type stuff, just to get that, that ability. So it must have been tasty. How? Oh, now then, fire things. I'm not going to be able to do anything, am I? Let's just get the boss. Can you guys help me with these things, please? Go on, I help you, you help me. That's how it works. Come on. Yes, thank you. Grinding gears can be heard once again as a gate opens somewhere in the cave. What have we got? Anything? Uh, I could be used at level one, couldn't it? But I'm not. I'm not really too fussed. So far, so good, people. Almost to the dizzy heights of level three. I can feel Terry frothing at the mouth at the sight of so many hirelings in one quest. It's definitely the most I've ever had. So we've got we've got a, our summoned hireling, a wolf pet, and our... Sorry, a wolf summons and a wolf pet. <coughs> the idea just came to me as I was wondering what on earth we were going to do to start the life because I know that casters are notorious for not being able to cast straight away definitely could have made life much easier by starting with either bear or wolf but I think we are hopefully over the, the toughest of it now by the time we, we get back from these uh, borderlands we're going to be able to have the second um, 
deer here this uh, creeping cold thing we're going to be able to have so that's going to help us Judging from the old bones scattered on the floor, something large and dangerous has lived in this cave for some time. The flicker of the head suggests that there have been some more recent survivors. Okay, go, go, howl, howl. How dare you resist it, you? Focus on one that Byron isn't. Now one thing the Howl is doing very nicely, it's keeping Byron's uh, health points up. The cult of evil chaos has set up camp in this cave, with the goal of capturing and taming the beast that lives within. I think we just about got them all there. Go on, Byron, have at it. Ooh, who did, was that? Was that me? Was that a colour of the Queen? If it was, I'll take it. Although I know there's one spectacular looking flame strike type effect from the colour of the Queen that actually does nothing, I think. Now, can, can we... Did we howl the boss there, the mini boss? I don't think we did. We byroned him. Quick heal for the wolf. Yeah, it's all I can do normally to pay attention to my own health point pool. That's the only reason I've got the red thing across the, the top here. Just to try and uh, trigger me to heal myself when I get low, because I'm pathetic at that too. Inside the cavern chamber ahead. You can also see the nest of something in the center. Let's get stuck in people. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. What's happened to our bear? My word, Byron again. Ending the cult's plan to make the beast into a He's a bit of a star, isn't he? Could be sorry to lose him. Uh, wisdom one. I don't think we have anything giving wisdom at the moment. Uh, but do I want to swap it for that? No, I don't. Okay, I think we'll call that broadly speaking a successful operation. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's any wisdom on the gear. There's intelligence. No, no wisdom on there. We've got some salt marsh stuff coming. I don't think, unfortunately. I know there are some gloves with some firepower on out there. I've got the boots, the spark soles, because we wore them for the artificer type stuff. I don't know whether I have the neck piece. The uh, It's a cold one, isn't it? But we've got the cold scepter anyway, so that's all right. I think that's probably a good place to end it for this one anyway. Um, a somewhat bumpy ride, but could have expected that given the strategy I decided to adopt. Anybody trying this, I would certainly say take either wolf or bear, swing a weapon, and, uh, well, or the, the weapon would go to the bear paws or the wolf paws, wouldn't it? 
and that would give you a much better uh, early time of it I think made it unnecessarily difficult for myself here okay I think that about does it for this one sun shining over the uh, safety of the borderland the the keep thanks very much as always for looking and I'll speak to you next time take care